Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark, part 13. We just have Basso join us, and we've got a lot to do. So let's look through here and make our way. Most of these are locked, which doesn't bode well for where I wanted to go, does it? Aha! No, it does, because this is where I wanted to go. And there's stuff on the table, but nothing actually on the table. And a floor plan, which shows placement of furniture. And let's look at it, shall we? What doesn't look right about it? simple. This bed is not where it's supposed to be. That's not... Alright, so that's where it's supposed to be. And then this table is also not where it's supposed to be. Or this bed, excuse me. And so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, nope. We we have to move this table as well. I knew a table had to move. And secret compartment opens up. Old key. This should open all of the locked doors we've had problems getting into. And to find out if that's accurate or not, we're going to try it on this door that we just passed. Let's see if it works. I hope it does. It does! We now have places to go. And check the... We found the Royal Crest, which, again, it was a deal that we were just offered in town that you guys actually didn't get to see. But we can't do anything with it. But Basso can. It raises his luck and his magic defense by a fair bit. So we're going to give him the crest. Or the crest, because he can only have one equipped. Um, that's a, a good side for him, because that's... It makes up for his lack of magic, is that he gets some special items. Alright, let's try this key on this door. It's a magnificent door. Isn't it, though? I love magnificent doors. Alright, so now we're back here in the center room. And there's a lot of stuff that I didn't check back there, so we're going to go back through there and check that stuff out, shall we? I mean, while we're here, we might as well get everything that we can. I also didn't think that you guys haven't seen Basso yet, so we'll... The next fight we get into, we'll keep in... Alright, that one we can't go into, because that one... The handle's actually broken off. But this one... Can be, uh, open. Open says me... for a chest ghost. So we'll leave this fight in so you guys can see our new friend Basso in action. And Arthur has his new attack, Lightning Slash. Awesome. If you soul, soul seal Basso, so help me God. All right, you're after Arthur, which is fine. And Basso comes in with his axe to swing away! Having four people makes the battles go a lot easier because now you can just kind of spam attack and you're fine. So Arthur now has Fire Slash, Ice Slash, and Lightning Slash. That is fan-freaking-tastic.
And Rhodey levels up to 15! Alright, and... Nothing was there. Check the area. And we find Iron Shell. And I think that's what Basso already has equipped. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. So we'll just leave it there. No sense in doing that. Alright, so... That's everything on this side. There's one little section up there that I've done, but it's just an empty room. We're not going to go over there. So we've got one other thing here that we need, but we've got to find the way to open it. And I don't think the old key will work. But let's try it out. Just, you know. Yeah, nothing happened. Okay. So now we can go back up. Or we can go around. Let's go around. Spin more... Damn it, wrong way. Right way. And thankfully we're not getting into nearly as many fights. And I'm getting lost. Is what I'm doing. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Because now we can go over here and through this door. I mean, we could go through this door to begin with, but... And... If we check the giant clock... We find... Another leprechaun. Which is good, because we need the leprechauns at this point. Well, I mean, we need anything at this point. And once we finish up, because we've got this little section of the first floor, and then we've got the upstairs, the other half of the upstairs to deal with. It's like, I know where everything is at this point. I just need to find it. Or find how to get there is... And now that I've got the key, um, that part's actually kind of done. Because uh, one, of, one of the items we need is behind a locked door, and we have that now. Alright, we're going to go all the way down here. And I missed that one, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, so he's dealt with. So let's go all the way over here, and all the way up here and open the door. I wish once you had the key, you could just walk through the doors. That would make it so much easier. Uh, potion, which is all we needed from this room. Yeah, there's nothing else here. So, go back through there. And down and around here. All right, now that that distraction is out of the way, as I was saying, we go over here. There's another room, and there's a treasure chest. And this has... Useless. Okay, so that's not necessarily something you guys got to go for. Um, but hey. And now we've got the upstairs section that we can go to, but there's still a little bit more down here on the first floor that I want to look at. So we're going to go back through here. And this way. Alright, that hurt. Power blaze after power blaze sucks. Melody's down to 12 HP. How not happy is that? I should be able just to heal everyone close to full. And yeah. There we go. Alright, and this room is the room that we don't... Yeah, this is the poltergeist room. Uh, if you remember the skeleton in the labyrinth, 
said, uh, we need to, we need to get that book. That's the book that we need, but we can't grab it while it's in the air. So we need the water, the holy water to stop the spirits from being restless. So we've got to find the holy water to get the book, to put the book in that bookshelf that we just found. And I'm just going to leave this fight in because it's freaking vampire bats. And since I'm in the middle of a tangent, and we know where we know where the book is, we know where the book goes. I'm pretty sure I know where the holy water is. And like I said, I that was behind a locked door. So once we check this little section of rooms out down here, we can go back upstairs and finish that up. And I don't think you can be attacked in the rooms. I could be wrong. Alright, so for that we gotta move the table out of the way. And that opens another passageway. So hey, just looking around that... And I kinda figured that was a chest ghost. The second I'm like, wait, you're putting something already there. This screams bad idea. Thankfully, I switched to the pixies in time. This is actually a record number of random fights that I'm keeping in. Stop doing that, you rat bastard. I'm already low on... MP, stop doing that. I freaking hate Soul Steel. And it's the amount of times that it will actually proc. You cast it again, so help me God. About to say, Arthur, end him. However, they give a ton of gold. And Arthur levels up to 16, and Rhodey doesn't get any XP from that because he was dead. And there's nothing else in the chest. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Melody heal Rhodey again. Bring him back up to pretty much full health. No, to full health. And then we're going to go down this way. As I was saying, we're going to go down this way. For another treasure chest. Which actually has treasure inside it. Uh, the druid's robe. That is for Melody, obviously. And we're going to give it from Rhodey to Melody. So that she's got a little bit better defense. Yes, I want to equip it. And Basso has no healing items. Basso has no items in general, so we're going to give him some of these items. Because Basso's got space on his person. And we'll give him that... And we'll give him... So he's got two healing items and then a bunch of junk. Good to know. Alright, so now we leave this place quickly. And we're going to go back upstairs and deal with that. And one thing I'm probably going to do here in a little bit is actually leave this place so that I can escape with my life. And uh, heal myself, because I'm kind of up shit creek at the moment. Alright, so yeah. Almost to the stairs. We're at the stairs. Go up the stairs. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is use... Since Arthur can't use return anyway, I'm just going to heal. Because I'm getting tired of getting raped, honestly. All these things just have... 
attacks that do 20 or more points of damage, and then if it gets a critical, it does the upwards of 30 to 40 points of damage. So, like, really? You guys can't cut a little bit of slack for a dungeon like this that... And you have no MP. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to leave this place. Uh... Before dealing with the boss to heal and buy better weapons and armor for Basso. Uh... For that, we've still got a fair bit to do. I'm gonna try to get all that done in this video. Because we're so close to being done. Honestly. And we'll go back to the second floor map, and now we're in a new section of the second floor. And we gotta use the key. Use the key to open the door. It's a magnificent door. Good! I'm glad that it is. Alright, uh da 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 da. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, so they're dead. And we wanna go down here. And avoid these guys like the plague. Alright, so they're dead. A steel helmet. Too bad no one I have can use it. And Basso levels up to level 11. And Basso gets fantastic stat gains because, again, that's all he gets. And we found the Power Staff. And that is a new weapon for Melody. If you guys remember the Power Staff from Shining Force 2, it's about as useless. Yeah, I want to equip it. That's why I gave it to her. So, yeah. And that's all that's in that room. So we want to go this way. Alright, so he's dead again. Alright, and now we go down this way. And we go in here. Kill these things, and now we've got two pathways of where we can go. And we want to go to the left from here, so... Alright, so he's dead. And we took a power blaze to the face, so I'm going to have to use healing items at this point, because I'm running out of MP, as you guys can see. And just heal up the best you can with what you've got. And that's good enough for for my tastes. Alright, so now we go in here. And statue of Zod holding a bottle of holy water. Yes! We acquired the holy water. Which is good. And now we've got two more, well, three more pathways that don't lead to anything that we need to worry about, honestly. We'll deal with those as it comes to it. So we're going to head back down to get that. I'll probably just cut that here and avoid the fight. So I'll see you guys in a second when we use the holy water in the room that we're supposed to get. Alright, so we're back here at the room with the holy water. And... Arthur used the holy water. And everything goes back to where it's supposed to be. It drives the evil spirits away. And we come over here. We found the arcane book. So now we gotta take the book upstairs, back upstairs, where we kind of just were, and deal with that. And. Yes. I've got everything that I can down here. Uh, that one door is that, that one there is the one that we can't get into. And. 
No, wait, there's... There's something else, because I don't think... Do I have... Gotta check my allied pixies. I am missing a succubus. So I do have that succubus, but I'm missing one. I'm missing an incubus as well. I gotta find those guys. Alright, so... Yeah, now we can go... Back upstairs. And so I'll see you guys up there in just a second. Alright, so we're finished with that. And... Like I said, we're gonna go back upstairs. And we're gonna use the last... We're gonna use the book to get the final item. And then we're going to run the hell away. Heal get the items that we need to make up for what we've lost. Uh, how do I get around on the second floor? Excellent. So there is a direct pathway. And it'll go through where we need to go anyway. In the end, kind of. Stop running into the door. Alright, so this room, this room is where it's all gonna go down. As you can see, there's a pathway in front of us that's not blocked by a white border. That's where we're going to end up in the long run. And use that. And this has so far been kind of a long video, but I know I'm editing a lot of this out, so um, hopefully it won't be that long. Alright, so we're back here, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the book here. And it opens the bookcase. And that actually looked like two books, didn't it? Yeah. So I know I'm not, you know, seeing things. And we find the clock key. So now we know what we've got to do. Um, but first, we're going to get out of here. Uh, or not. I don't have an angel wing. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the video here while I make it back to town the long way. So I will see you guys in uh, in the next bit, basically, because I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. So, uh, yeah, see you all in the next installment, in which we finish up the, uh, the mansion and deal with the catacombs. Till then, later everyone.